Okay, so we're gonna try and measure uh, an angle. So obviously we need to use our protractors. Okay, so one of the key things is you really do have to try and make sure that this part of your protractor right here, that cross, is smack bang on the point of the angle, okay? So you do that and then you make sure that one of the arms of the angle is lined up with one of these bottom arms of your protractor. So I want to do it like this. So that goes there and I just take my time. There's no need to rush. Just line it up and now you can see it's smack bang on. Now you can see there are two numbers on this on the protractor. This line goes through two numbers, zero and 180. You measure from the zero where the line of the angle intersects with the zero, that's where you start measuring. So you don't use these numbers in this case because we've lined it up with this zero. So you're measuring around here from the zero and you get to here and you can see it's between 110 and 120. And that's where you have to be a little bit careful. You look up here really closely to see what it is exactly. So this here is 110. This is 115, 16, 17. It's between 117 and 118. So we can round that off and go 117. So this angle is 117 degrees.